everyone, welcome to Multilingual. In my previous video, you learned how to express your opinion on a more basic level. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet. In today's video, the topic remains the same. However, we'll learn more advanced phrases so that you can sound smarter and more convincing. Let's dive into it. Hmm. Let's pick a topic for discussion first. As you might already know, German highways are very famous for having no speed limit. It's being discussed whether it's still acceptable. Some people support the idea of restricting the speed limit. Let's imagine you are sitting somewhere and this question pops up. Is the speed limit in Germany necessary? Would it positively influence climate change? If you're not sure how to answer and want to save some time, you can say, I'm rather skeptical about this. I'm not convinced. Mm -mm. On the one hand, it might be helpful. On the other hand, I don't think many people would agree with that. I need some time to mull it over. Mm -hmm. For example, I don't think many people in the German government would agree with this policy. On the one hand, it might reduce the number of accidents. On the other hand, it doesn't really help the climate. If you are sure, you can use these phrases. It's just common sense. Without a shadow of a doubt, like this one. The facts speak for themselves. Hmm. For example, reducing the speed limit won't stop climate change. It's just common sense. Or, without a shadow of a doubt, the speed limit won't reduce the carbon footprint. If you want to disagree, you can use these phrases. It makes absolutely no sense. Well, this one sounds quite strong. It's a common misconception. More polite. It doesn't hold water. I love this one. It doesn't have facts. It makes no sense. Or this one, one of my favorites. There is no rhyme or reason to it. There is no rhyme or reason to it. It doesn't make sense. For example, what you are saying is a common misconception. Not only does it help the climate, but also increases traffic safety. And here is a good phrase if you want to finish the discussion. We'll have to agree to disagree. We'll have to agree to disagree. I love this phrase. Agree to disagree means we know they won't agree with us anyway, and it's a polite way to end the discussion and change the subject. Agree to disagree. If you have some evidence, however, you can always strengthen your arguments with it using the phrases I saw a documentary about this. Mm -hmm. A recent survey found that it's been proven that, for example, a recent survey found that on average, people spend up to 2 hours 29 minutes on social networks worldwide. Can you imagine this? How else can you express your opinion in a conversation? If you want to react spontaneously, you can say, my gut reaction is… What is your gut reaction? Reaction that comes from your gut, from your stomach. If you want to show surprise, you can say, I was surprised at first. After having thought about the question, you can say, Hmm, on second thought, hmm, or deep down, I know. <laughs> For example, when I heard that people spend up to two and a half hours on social networks, I was surprised at first. My gut reaction was, it's just too much time. 
On second thought, I understand that it's a great communication tool and a good source of information for young people. But deep down, I know that it's not healthy for our society. Hmm. What do you think? Is it a lot? Two hours and a half? Express your opinion using one of the phrases you've learned in this video. I would say, I need some time to mull it over. As for me, I probably spend a lot of time on social networks, but it's because of my job. Time for a short quiz now. What word is missing in each phrase? The first letter is given, the rest is your job. Let's begin. Now, have a look at the answers. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for staying with me till the end. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and join me on my Instagram page. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Oh, I'm freezing. Now, don't add any extra words.